Welcome back. The U.S. exports hundreds of billions of dollars in goods throughout the world, and most travel by ship. Companies like Kalana Shipyard are staffing up with veterans to meet this ever-growing challenge. The movement of goods and products around our planet is vital to our nation's security and well-being. It's a massive undertaking. Kalana's is uh, a ship repair operation that's based in Norfolk, Virginia, that does maintenance and modernization for a variety of customers. And that includes the U.S. Navy, the Coast Guard, the U.S. Army, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and a wide variety of commercial outfits. Right now, in our number three dry dock, we've got a shipping port, which is actually a submarine dry dock, which is getting repaired. The dry dock that they use to repair submarines. We also have some fast vessels that are used by the SEAL teams that are interesting. As complex as these operations are, they began from much more humble beginnings. In 1875, my great-great-grandfather got a $2,000 loan from his brother, bought a farm right across the river from downtown Norfolk, and we hauled wooden sailing vessels out of the water and repaired those. Since then, a lot's changed. A lot may have changed, but not the core values of Kalana. For these veterans, mission focus remains priority one. The work that we do at Kalana Shipyard is important because we do complete repair work for the mission criticalness of all of Navy vessels that they have. So if we don't complete whatever they contract us to repair for them, it could be the make or break whether they can go out and do their deployments to continue to defend this country. And if we're not able to maintain the vessels, then we're going to directly affect the operational readiness of the units that we're supporting. You might be building a, a piece of steel that has to be within a fraction of an inch tolerance. But where does that piece of steel go? It goes onto a battleship, and it's helping support thousands of people who are maintaining democracy for the world. And that's huge. It makes me feel really good to be a Navy veteran and to get out and still be able to support that uh, mission. It gives me a fulfillment that I'm continuing to serve my country. So Jess, Jessica Dorsey, is instrumental on the quality side for us. Making sure all the inspection requirements are being carried out day to day. Randall Crutchfield, he's been one of my biggest supporters. To have support that far up in the chain of command of things, I never thought that I would have that opportunity. James Boomer has been the consummate professional since we hired him. He's managing tens of millions of dollars in equipment buys annually. He's managing tens of millions of dollars in subcontracts annually. And the way that he approaches process and personnel and blends those two has been extremely beneficial for us. I went to the Naval Academy in 1992, straight out of high school. I applied to uh, all the service academies. I got accepted at West Point in the Naval Academy. Chose to go to the Naval Academy because I enjoy the Navy more than marching around. And then to Jacksonville, Florida, which is where I trained to fly F-18s. So I joined the Navy when I was 19. From there, I went to Meridian, Mississippi. I learned to be a logistics specialist there. Straight from there, I went on deployment with the U.S. Harry Truman. What Kalanas provides uh, prospective veterans is the chance to continue serving the country and continue serving diplomacy worldwide. Kalana Shipyard doesn't care what your background is, doesn't care what your race, color, creed is. They just care about how well can you contribute to what we're trying to do here in repairing vessels and supporting our DOD. Come to Kalana Shipyard. That sense of purpose is here. You just gotta find it, and Kalana's will help you find it. Kalana's Shipyard, bridging from the past to the future.